In this video, you're going to learn the fastest and easiest website localization method. We're going to go through a five-step process to generating different versions of your website for different languages with the help of AI. We're going to also add the language selector to your website so your visitors can easily switch between languages. My name is Nandi, this is Framer University, and let's get started. So the first step is that we need to have a Framer website. Well, if you're not familiar with Framer, Framer is a no-code tool that allows you to create professional and highly customizable websites on an infinite visual canvas. It is super easy to use, and even if you're a beginner, you can get started with it super easily by clicking the link in the description and just picking a free template, which I'm going to do as well for this video. So here we are on the Framer website. I'm just going to click templates and I'm going to search for Dana because it's a nice uh, portfolio website and it is free to use. And I'm going to click this use for free button. And as you can see, now it is uh, duplicating and here we have it on our account. Here we can go ahead and edit it if we want to use a different text here. Maybe we have, we probably have a different name. So I'm going to say Nandi Mujik because that's my name. So, you know, you can customize it, place different images and basically you have your own website and you just started with a free template. So we can make it a live website on the internet by clicking this publish button. And we can also add the free Framer subdomain by clicking this button. We can say something like Framer Uni Tutorial. And if we now click this link, we can see that our website is live on the internet. So the second step is to generate different locales for our website. So to do that, let's go back to Framer. And now I notice that the domain that I gave is Framer Uni Tutorial, which is not tutorial. Sorry, I cannot type and talk at the same time, but let's leave it uh, that way. So we're going to need to add different locales, as I said. If you take a look at the top right corner, we see this little globe icon right there. What happens if we click that? As you can see, we need to set a default language. So I'm going to set English as the default language. And then I'm going to click Confirm. Now I see this localization view. And here I can click Add Locale to add a different language. So here I'm going to add Hungarian because that's the only other language that I understand. And the fallback language will be English so that if something isn't translated properly, we're going to be seeing the fallback English language. And then we can click Add. As you can see, after we clicked Add, we see this localization view. On the left side, we have a sidebar with all the different locales that we have for this project. This is just the Hungarian at this time, but we can add different locales if we want to. We can basically pick any language from here. And here in this table, we see all the different text and image layers from our entire website. And yes, we can also translate images. So maybe we want to display a different image for a different uh, language. And we can also translate the alt text for each of them. Well, step three is actually translating the website. So here we see all the different text layers and I can go to, for example, here I see back to home and I can translate to Hungarian in this column. So I'm going to write the Hungarian translation here. So as you can see here, I have the translation, we saw Fuadara, and I can just press enter on my keyboard. And as you can see, it is now marked as done. But I know that you're lazy and I'm lazy as well. And we don't want to translate each text layer one by one. That's where we can use the help of our little friend, AI. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hover this 404 row. This basically represents the 404 page on our website. And we see this little translate button here, which will basically translate every single text layer within this page. And I can just go through this table and click these translate buttons. By the way, we also have these translate buttons for uh, individual text layers. So I can also click them here. But of course, it is faster to uh, click them on the row that represents a full page. 
So I'm just clicking these buttons and basically the AI is translating my website from English to Hungarian, which is pretty handy. So as you can see now, everything is translated. Uh, I can also see it on the left side. It is 100%. So now I can go back to the canvas and take a look at how it looks like. So here on the canvas toolbar, I can choose between the different languages that I have. So I can just click Hungarian and now I am inspecting the Hungarian version of my website. And it is really great because I can click into different text layers and I can translate them here which is pretty handy because then I can see the translation in the context of the design. So maybe here I don't want to have three lines and I can just remove uh, some text from the translation or some words or make it shorter to have it in two lines. So here you can go through each translation, each text and fix it if it needs some fixing because of course the AI is great but you might need to fix some of the translations so they sound uh, more natural but yeah basically that's the third step and now we can go into the fourth step which is basically customizing the translation even more so now I'm gonna click English to go back to the English version and I'm gonna show you an example because let's say you want to also change something else you not only want to change the text and the images but you want to also translate some visual elements on the website and display them differently on different languages so to show that I'm just gonna create a button element here so I'm gonna click uh, there and just type in button and then I'm gonna just wrap it in a frame um, and I'm gonna give it a background color so this is gonna be a white button so I'm gonna change the text to black and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select basically any element so I'm just gonna do it with the button but you can do it with anything and then what I can do is I can go to the right panel and here I see all the different uh, properties that this layer has. So I can go to, for example, the fill color and click this little plus button next to it. And then I can go set variable, locale and convert option. And here I can create a condition. So for example, when English is the active language, I display a white color and when, uh, for example, the Hungarian is the active language, I display a blue color. And then I can also set a fallback color, so that will be white. And now if we go ahead and change the language, as you can see, not only the text changes, but also the fill color of this button. And I can add these conditions to any uh, element on the website so for example if I even want to hide this text for some reason on the Hungarian version I can do that I can just click the visibility property here set variable locale and then I can convert this option so when English is the active language I display this text and when the Hungarian is the active language I don't display this text so now if I change to Hungarian, as you can see, it's not there. But I'm gonna remove this because I actually wanna display it on the Hungarian version as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the English version and just remove this condition from the visible property. Okay, so our last step is to actually implement this language selector on our website. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the insert panel and I'm gonna just search for language selector. So language selector, and I'm just gonna drag and drop it to the canvas. And here, all I have to do is to go to the right panel and customize the look of this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the fill color. I'm gonna change the text to white. Maybe I'm also gonna add an icon, which will be also white. And then I'm gonna change the carrots color to white as well. And then maybe I want to uh, remove the text and I'm gonna just set the width to fit content. So now as you can see, we have this little language selector component here. And all we have to do is to insert this within our website. So what I'm gonna do here is hit command and X to cut it. And we're gonna paste it within the navigation, which is a component. So we have to double click into that. 
and I'm just gonna paste it in here um, within these links. So command and V, and as you can see, now it is right there. So basically that's it, we're done. All we have to do is to publish this website and an update. So our website's latest version will be live on the internet. So if we click this link right now, as you can see, um, the language selector is there and different versions of our website are displayed perfectly. So this is how easy it is to generate different versions of your websites for different languages with Framer's new localization feature. Your next few steps are first liking this video if you learned something new and then watching this video that will explain the 10 most important things that you need to do before launching your Framer website.